everyone, my name is Shanae and I'm from Australian Ebook Publisher. We're a little self-publishing helper company in Australia, in Brisbane. So what we do is help people who want to publish their own books do it the way that they want. Um, and one of the ways that we do is we help them create their ebooks. So what we're going to talk about today is how to look at and use iPads, iBooks application. So I have my iPad here. Let's get started. So this is our iPad. Um, this is the home screen here. As you can see, I've got my little iBooks application. I'm opening that up now. So with your iBooks application, you have uh, this grid view, which is uh, what first shows up to look at all of your books. You can have any number of books in here. And you can flick through the way that you use them by um, pressing on this button in the corner. So you can start with your most recent, and then have a look at your titles, and your authors, and your categories. And so you can scroll through your ebooks library if you're in this mode, and have a look at the categories on the right hand side here. These are actually inserted by the ebook developer when the ebook's being created. So now that I've decided what book I want to read, I can tap on that and open it up. You'll see that the first thing that's displayed is the very first page of the ebook. If you've actually had this ebook open before and have already been reading it, you'll find that the first page that you see is actually the last page that we were reading, which is actually really handy so that you can keep track of what you're up to. So within your ebook, you can tap and untap on the screen and you'll show and hide the menu. And you can flick through the pages by tapping on either side of the screen. And you can flick through it like that. It's really easy. Also with the ebook, you'll notice that there's text up the top of the page and this has got the author and the book title. This is again some metadata that's inserted by the ebook developer. You've got your tablet flipped in portrait mode. That's when you've got the long sides of the tablet in your hand. You'll actually only see the book title. So again, if you show the menu, you'll see down the bottom that there is a toggle that you can scroll through the book. See, if you tap on that little blue line and, and drag it forward, you'll change your place in the book. The text underneath gives you a gauge of how many pages you've read, though this page count does not reflect how many pages might be in a print version of the book. So the reason for this is that this particular book is reflowing. So for more on this, you can see another video of ours. So with a reflowing book, you can actually adjust the size of the text using the toggle under the big and little a. As you see, as you press up and down, you'll increase or decrease the size of the tag, depending on what you would prefer. So we'll just get it back to normal now. So while you've got this menu open, you can adjust a whole bunch of other things. So you can also adjust the, the text background. You can toggle between black, white, gray, and sepia. So the reason you might want to change your text Color background is if you're reading at night time and you haven't got the lights on and you don't want a high contrast background. And just for it to be a bit easier on your eyes, a sepia background can be a good choice. So we'll just go back to white. Another thing in this menu that you can adjust is the, the font. So what white says original here is because that's the font that the developer included in the book. But you might also choose one of the other fonts offered by Apple. So we'll just go back to our original font now. This particular book had a print layout design before it went to ebook, which is why there are embedded fonts. As you flip through a book like this, you'll notice that there are images throughout. And with some ebooks, you can actually increase the size of the image if it's uh, too small for you. So you do this by double tapping on the image. You don't need to pinch your fingers in and out to zoom, you just double tap. Once you've double tapped, you'll actually increase the size of the image so it fills the screen. So then within the screen, you can actually uh, tap on the image uh, to show or hide the little black bar at the top. Interestingly, if your ebook happens to have tables in it, you can use the function the same way. And you can use the little X in the corner to escape. Okay, so now that I've flicked around the book, I seem to have lost my place. So in a print book, I might just flick through the pages trying to find where I last was, or I might use the table of contents. So luckily, ebooks actually have a table of contents as well. 
So to get to the table of contents in an iBook, all you have to do is press the little button in the top corner with the three little lines. The table of contents dis is displayed next to the cover of the book. Uh, this table of contents is what we call a metatoc, which is short for a metadata table of contents. So this is something that the ebook developer has embedded in the ebook. This table of contents will display on any device that this ebook is on, not just this one. So to navigate through the table of contents, you can just scroll through like this, and then you can tap on whichever chapter that you need to be. So for example, I'm going to find chapter 6, and here it is. Um, but perhaps you might not know what chapter you're supposed to be in. So in this case, you can actually use that iPad's uh, built-in search function. This can be found in the top right-hand corner. It looks like a little magnifying glass. So you can just tap on this, and you can begin to write any text that you can think of that might happen to be near or around uh, what you're looking for. So as you can see here, the text that I've searched can be found, and it's actually in the publishing details in this particular book, and it's actually in more than one place. So you can go back to the magnifying glass and choose the exact place that you want to find the text that you are looking for. So there are a few other inbuilt uh, pieces from iBooks that you can use to make your reading experience better. One of them is bookmarking. So you can tap this little bookmark thing in the right hand corner and you'll save your place. This might be useful if you have, uh, if you're sharing your ebook with another person in the house. Um, and you can have a look at where your bookmarks are by going back to the table of contents menu and toggling to the bookmarks tab. So here is the one that we just made. There is also the tool to highlight and make notes. So all you have to do is tap on the screen somewhere where the text is and then drag your finger along and highlight some text like this. So then once you do that, a little menu will pop up and you can highlight it like this. And then you can make a note and change the color of your note depending on what you might happen to prefer. This is really good for educational books like a textbook where you need to make notes. And then you can again go back to the table of contents menu and look at the notes tab and you'll see what you've just made. This can be really good if you've got a book and you've made lots of notes throughout. So I'll keep flicking through my book and you'll end up at the end. And so once you've finished your book, all you have to do is tap library in the corner and you'll head back to your iBooks library. And that's it. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any comments, please let us know. Um, and if you want to know a little bit more about Australian ebook publisher and the work that we do, you can find our web link in the text box below.